Uh, hello. So, what do we need to do to uh, apply for a scholarship or ambassador scholarship at Utah State University? Um, uh, so, first, let's talk about what we do: leadership, recruit, recruitment, and, and services. That's what we do, and we share experience with other students as as Aggies. And um, everyone could could apply to the scholarship. And uh, what you need to do to apply is to complete the application packet online. And uh, I'll let my friend here talk to you more about the application packet and what you need to fill up or, or do in order to apply to the ambassador scholarship. Hi everyone. Um, my name is Ale Kaitan. I'm an international student from Armenia at Utah State. Um, this is my friend Muhammad from Saudi Arabia. So I will explain more about the application packet. First, you need to complete the application form, which consists of one page. Um, second, write a statement on why you want to be a Utah State ambassador. Uh, it's supposed to be 250 words or less. Third, complete the resume on leadership, recruitment, and service experience. And fourth, you can add any graphical illustrations, including pictures, diagrams, sketches that convey your accomplishments and who are you. Be creative. And that can be two pages. Uh, so now I let Muhammad talk about more about uh, frequently asked questions. First of all, I, I still want to talk to you about the application. The application is due on February 2nd of 2015, and it has to be mailed like uh, to the address of Utah State University, and that would be the uh, admissions office, Taggart Student Center, uh, room 102, and it's um, in Old Main, Hill, Logan, Utah, Eight four three two two, and just to let you know, the application you have to have two recommendation letters. It could be from a teacher or a professor. So some of the frequent asked questions are: Can I mail the application? Uh, no, it has to be. Or can I email the application? It has to be mailed through either FedEx or UPS or any any kind of, of, of mailing services. Um, so. How much the application fee costs? Actually, the ambassador um, scholarship application doesn't cost anything. So you have to pay zero money to apply for the scholarship. So uh, the scholarship gives $2,000 for this for the fall and spring semesters. And um, it could be it could be renewed for four years. So you could use the scholarship for four years, but you have to renew it every single every single year. So one of the uh, so you have to be enrolled in a way to get the scholarship. And you have to have a minimum of 12 credit hours um, to uh, receive a ambassador scholarship. Um, and your GPA will have to be a, a minimum of 3.0 out of 4. OK, so how long does the scholarship last? Ambassador scholarship lasts for the entire time that you are at the Utah State University. Uh, it's renewable. Um, every year based on the scholarship holders overall performance so can i reapply if you wonder if you could reapply for the scholarship you, you could definitely apply but you have to start the whole um process again and then reapply for it the next year your experience so far yeah. um, so 
I think the ambassador is just to be ambassador. I got the chance to meet a lot more people, to know a lot more people, to have to to have more connections, and uh, and also to share my culture with others and know about others' cultures. Um, on top of that, um, you know, I, I still get two thousand dollars that helps me with my tuition um, every semester, which is really good. So that's that's a little bit of of what I got out of it. Um, well, um, I'm an international ambassador for a semester now. I've been in Utah State for three years, and I've always been looking for a student, um, student organization, student group that uh, will be helping international students and uh, helping international students to come to Utah State, since um, sometimes the process can be pretty complicated. And um, as an international ambassador, we try to facilitate that process for international students to come to Utah State. And also, we are really involved with a lot of uh, activities on campus. And overall, there are around 120 ambassadors. And um, we give tours to uh, prospective students. We, we carry out a lot of activities. And um, as a group, we try to accomplish great things. Do you have anything to add? Great. That's, that's it. Why did you guys choose Utah State University? Well, I choose I chose Utah State University first because of their engineering program. It's supposed to be one of the best in the country, and it is actually one of the best in the country. Uh, but when I first came here, I was surprised that the, the life on campus, it's very social. Uh, people are very, very friendly, and, and campus is, is located in a very awesome spot. It's, it's close to hiking trails, close to lakes, close to rivers, close to a lot of the outdoor um, things you could do. Uh, also, it's not too far away from the capital city, so like it's only about an hour and 10 minutes tops. Um, um, so that's that's probably why I, I chose Utah State, but I, I love it here. It's great. Um, can you share your experience? Sure. Uh, well, I'm a business student, and I was looking for a good business school, and uh, I found John M. Huntsman School of Business online, and I read a lot of good reviews, and I, at the time I also had some friends who were going to Huntsman School of Business at Utah State University, except being... Um, uh, pretty good quality, except giving pretty good quality education. Uh, the small class size allows uh, personal interaction with the professors, and uh, that's something really important for me because I feel like unless you get to know your professor personally, they're not going to be interested in your classes. So my friend Brian is going to join the video call. Hi, Brian. How are you doing? Good. So my name is Brian. I'm, I'm another international ambassador for Mohammed and Arik. Um, what you're doing here today is sharing a little bit more about the ambassador program with you. For myself personally, I'm an aviation maintenance student, and I'm from Singapore. Um, once again, we'd like to emphasize a little bit more about our ambassador scholarship, which is, open, which is one of the few scholarships that are open to international students as well. Um, to begin, you know, something that ambassadors, as ambassadors, we like to do on top of what these um, gentlemen have said is that we like, we are here to represent the school. And you know, like what Arik Muhammad have said, um, being an ambassador, you get to experience the full, what we call, what we like to call the Aggie experience. And we are not 
we personally feel the program that we are not just in school to receive a very good education, but to also develop ourselves in many different aspects. Um, Utah State University has helped me um, by, by being involved in the, the academic community, to be able to interact with students, to be able to participate in a lot of um, school activities, and by doing so, I have made a lot of friends, I have had many good experiences that have helped me to become the person that, that I am today as well. How can you find the scholarship online? With the Ambassador Scholarship, you can uh, find the scholarship. If you go to the, our school's website, usu.edu, and if you type in Ambassador's, Ambassador Scholarship, you'll be directed to a link um, on the website so that you can apply. Um, something that we would like all of you to take note is that application ends on the 2nd of February and it needs, an application must be sent in by ground mail or air mail, not online. So that is something that's very important that you need to take note of as well. Something that I would like to add on that, um, online you'll find the ambassador's application, which is basically the same that you need to fill out for international ambassadors. Um, Bryden, what's been your favorite part of the ambassador program? My favorite part of being in the ambassador program is um, I have been able to make a lot of very good friends on campus that have helped me to become a better person. Um, everyone in the ambassador family is very, very helpful to each other. We like to always um, encourage each other to do better, not only in school, but in all extracurricular activities as well. And so we are very, we are very proactive. The program is very proactive. We always encourage the students who are part of the ambassador program to um, go off to high schools to, to help recruit um, uh, future students to come to school. We do a lot of open houses where we get to interact with the public as well as a lot of service projects that, where we also interact with people in the community as well. So this program isn't just solely focused on academic, on the academic aspect because you need to keep a GPA of 3.0 every semester, but it also takes into account every other aspect of your development as a, as a student, as a person, and it just really makes you want to do better in school as well. And I have loved this experience. And I would encourage all of you to apply um, because I know it could make a very big difference to you as well. Uh, Mohammed, do you have any tips for people that are applying for the scholarship? Anything that could help them out? Yeah, I say they they should write their best best accomplishments and the stuff they have accomplished before. Um, they have to ask questions frequently, frequently to show that they are really interested. Um, that's probably two of the good tips that students should be aware of. All right, Ari, what about you? What's been the best part of the ambassador program? Um, uh, I guess to be honest, uh, being an ambassador, uh, we're divided into different groups and uh, I personally am an international ambassador. So as a group, we are pretty diverse. We have multicultural students, we have out of state, um, in state recruitment. Um, and this really gives us opportunity to have different kind of people. And as a group, um, we can come up with interesting activities. Uh, because all of us have uh, different interests. So I think meeting new people and representing the school, being the face of the school, has been, uh, have been the uh, best aspect of this experience. Great. If, uh, is this program available for graduate students? No, it's not. It's only for undergraduate. Um, 
So the program is renewable for up to four years. So at the end of each semester, do you want to talk about the leadership review? Well, at the end of every semester, um, we will, the program helps us ambassadors to evaluate ourselves to see how we can improve. It's not so much uh, finding fault with you, it's more to help you to see um, where your strengths and your weaknesses, what your strengths and your weaknesses are. So at the end of every semester, we do a leadership review where we um, sit down with our advisors and go through a list of, um, uh, we go through the criteria that is listed um, on a piece of paper. Um, we need to meet um, a certain level of attendance. We need to be, to make sure that our in school, our GPA for that semester is a 3.0. A we need to um, do two special tours where we take students around campus every semester. We need to do um, visits um, to, our, to different high schools or to different schools in Utah. Um, all these things are very simple. They are very, very enjoyable for ambassadors, for as in the ambassador program, and I have come to love all of it as well. And this is a leadership review. So requirements that you meet, and then you will also evaluate the way you the way you are personally in the program, your leadership um, potential, your how your participation, your creativity, many different things like that, so that you can learn how to gauge yourself and improve every semester. So that is a little bit of the leadership review that we have at the end of every semester in the ambassador program. And if you take a look on the chat page as well, there is a link to the ambassador scholarship application. So please feel free to click on that link and you know take a look at the application so that you have a better idea of what you do need um, for the process as well. What other nationalities are there in the, ambas in the ambassador program? So we have people from Saudi Arabia, that's me, from Armenia, it's Eric right here, uh, Ryder from Singapore, Singapore, we have people from China, from Ethiopia, and uh, we have people from uh, all over the United States, basically. It's not only from Utah. Uh, we have people from the Dominican Republic. Uh, I'm forgetting anything. Yeah. yeah, I think we have a couple of, of Canadians. So it's, it's pretty diverse. So. Are there a lot of international students at Utah State University? Um, we have about 15 to 1600 students. And the number goes up by the semester. So. Okay. You want to talk about when you're graduating and what you plan on doing after? Uh, okay, I graduate in May, and I'm gonna actually uh, finish my graduate school. So I'm gonna apply for my masters and finish my masters. Uh, sadly, I can't reapply for the scholarship because I am done with my uh, undergraduate. So uh, this would be my last semester, but I'll, I'm going to finish my school here at Utah State University. And um, I'll finish my degree in, uh, in civil engineering. So I'm graduating in May 2016. Um, I'll be graduating with an international business degree, and hopefully, I'll do a minor in human resources. Um, I have two options either to apply for a job in the United States or try to apply for a master's program. 
But as far as now, I'm going to try to find a job so I can have some work experience before I go to my master's degree. For me personally, I am I'm graduating as well in, in May of 2016. And so um, I have another year left in the ambassador program. I also have another three more semesters left in school. Um, I have done an internship in my program, um, which the school has helped me to find, which turned out to be a really great experience for me. And hopefully when I graduate, I'll be able to find um, a place where I can, I can work um, that's related to my field here as well. Now as what um, we like to do again, um, we like to go through the whole ambassador scholarship process and talk to you a little bit more um, and explain to you again what the ambassador scholarship is. And so if you would take a look at the slides that we have on our chat, um, we would definitely love to go through that with you all over again. Now, as, as ambassadors, what do we do? We have labeled it into a couple of different sections. We have leadership, recruitment, service, and share our experiences as an Aggie. As ambassadors, we have many opportunities to serve as leaders. We are able to take charge of many different activities for the school. We are able to go to different high schools and to organize activities like leadership experiences or high school visits or um, service projects where you know we're able to take we're able to have a role to organize these things and lead a group of people um, which is a really great experience. Another aspect that we have is recruitment. A big main part of what we do as ambassadors is to help recruit um, students who are interested in coming to Utah State University. Every year we do open houses within the state of Utah and outside of the state of Utah just so that we can help promote the school and to share the Aggie experience with um, all the different um, high school students or even transfer students that we meet as well. Do you want to explain what an Aggie is? An Aggie to me is someone well an Aggie is basically what we call ourselves at Utah State University. Um, part of the tradition is feeling the pride that we have for Utah State University, the love that you have for this school and coming to just love the whole experience of just being here in Utah State University. What do I need to apply? Um, to apply, you need um, you need to complete the application packet. Uh, the application packet um, consists first from the complete application form. Uh, second, write a statement on why you want to be a Utah State Ambassador. So, it has to be 250 words or less. Third, complete uh, the resume on leadership, recruitment, and service experience. Try to be as detailed as you can about your past experience. Fourth, um, graphical illustrations including pictures, diagrams, sketches that convey your accomplishments um, and who you are. Try to be as creative as you can. Um, also, you need, uh, lastly, you need two sealed letters of recommendation must be attached to your portfolio. The letter of recommendation form is included in the application packet as well. The due date on the application is uh, February 2nd of every year, so the due date for the next application would be February 2nd, 2015. Well, at the same time, if many of you are wondering where you can get this application, we do have a link on our chat page that will that will link you to the application website, and you can fill it out, take a look at it, and see what is needed for um, to, what is needed for you to apply for the ambassador scholarship. Some of the frequently asked um, questions: Can I? email the application. Uh, no, the application will have to be 
uh, will have to be mailed through mail to the to the school. How much does the application cost? Uh, the application. Uh, uh, there is no application fee. The application doesn't cost anything, so you don't have to pay for the application. How much money does the scholarship award? Well, the, the ambassador scholarship is um, two thousand U.S. dollars per semester, um, and it is definitely for a school year. So every fall you get. $2,000 and then the next semester in the spring you get $2,000 as well. Do I need to be enrolled at Utah State University to get the scholarship? Uh, okay, so I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, you have to be enrolled and you have to maintain a, you have to have 12 credit hours um, every semester in order to receive the scholarship. Also, you have to have a, a cumulative GPA of a 3.0 out four. So you have to have 12 credit hours and you have to have a 3.0 a GPA for, for every semester in order to keep it. How long does the scholarship last? Uh, the master scholarship lasts for the entire time uh, that you are at Utah State University. Um, every semester is renewable. Um, based on the scholarship holders' uh, overall performance. And um, basically, ambassadors are uh, reviewed with their leadership reviews, and that's uh, what decides if you are going to be ambassador the next semester. Can I reapply for it? Yes, you can reapply, but you don't need to go through the whole application process again. So it's basically based on the leadership reviews. <clears throat> And once you're awarded the ambassador scholarship, it is renewable every year. <clears throat> well, since we have a little bit more time, um, you know, why don't we go ahead and share with you <clears throat> a little bit of our experience of how we came to choose um, Utah State University as a um, university of our choice. Um, as you know, choosing universities is not a very easy, um, it's, not, it's not a very easy choice. And um, I think many of us here have, have had our different experiences in, in applying for school. So we'd just like to share with you a little bit about our process and why we love Utah State University so much. We have a question that just came in. Definitely. Uh, does the student have to pay some amount of money for the scholarship? No, you don't so, have to pay. So let's let's be clear. They don't have to pay to get the scholarship. To it's apply. Free. To apply, it's free. To apply for the scholarship. And but, does it cost money to apply to Utah State University? Yes, that's a different application, and it costs uh, seventy-five dollars. And if you're late, it goes up to $95 if you pass the deadline. $90. Or $90, sorry. So don't be late. So on the scholarship money, it's only $2,000, so the student will have to pay the, the rest of the, of the tuition. So if you're an international student, you're taking 12 hours, your tuition might be around a little bit over $9,000. Scholarship will only cover $2,000 of it, so it will go down to $7,000 something. And the student will have to take care of the rest. That's what I, we have been doing. So the scholarship definitely helped a lot. Well, the scholarship can definitely, um, you know, we, we do understand as well, you know, as international students, we do pay a lot, a lot more. But with this scholarship, it definitely helps at what Muhammad has said. And you know, you can use the money to help with textbooks. Um, you know, it just really helps to ease the, the load as well. So 
So we're going to go back again. Are there any more questions? No, that's right. We're just going to go through again because we have a little bit more time to share with you our experience <coughs> coming to how, how we chose to come to school here. Okay. Okay, well, to me, I, um, I was interested in engineering and I uh, heard about Utah State a lot and I started uh, going and reading about Utah State and their engineering program and it turned out to be one of the best in, in the country. Uh, so I came here, I really didn't know much about the, the town or the school, but when I got here, I was, I was, uh, I was surprised. It's you know, the the campus is very social. I've met and made a lot of friends, and uh, in the, this campus is located in a really cool spot. It's really close to hiking trails, camping places, lakes, rivers, skiing resorts. Uh, it's only about an hour, 10 minutes away from the capital city, Salt Lake. And so it's in a perfect location. It's a good school. Uh, it's a good engineering school. Uh, so I, I came here, finished my bachelor's, and I'm gonna definitely stay here and get my master's because I just love it here. Another question came in. Do you offer full scholarships for African students? We don't offer a full scholarship to any kind of international students. So we don't. But I encourage you to apply for the ambassador scholarship. It won't hurt, won't do nothing. Just take a couple of hours of your, your time and, you know, $2,000 off your tuition is, is really good. I mean, other schools don't even give you the opportunity to a similar kind of scholarship. So I think $2,000 every, every semester, every semester, and it goes with you from the minute you start school until you graduate. So. You could keep the scholarship for four years and you have $2,000 every semester to help you with your scholarship. That's actually really good because most schools or most scholarships are only for one year or one semester. But this scholarship is unique. It's, it's amazing, you know. You apply, you get accepted, then you're accepted for four years as long as you have a GPA of, of 3.0, then you have 12 credit dollars every semester, and uh, you're in good standing. You keep it for four years until you graduate. So I think it's one of the best, and I encourage you, highly encourage you to apply. And you might get lucky, so. Um, there are two main things that I love about Utah State University. First, um, most of my major classes, um, the class size is pretty small. Uh, that allows me to have personal interaction with my professors. and. Um, raises more interest for me in my major, which is business. Second thing is that the university creates a lot of opportunities for students to meet with uh, future employers. There are a lot of um, networking, uh, networking dinners, and that way you get to meet uh, really famous businessmen and entrepreneurs that have gone through the same road as we are going right now. And um, that creates a really good opportunity for networking and meeting new people. <clears throat> for me, what drew me to Utah State University was the aviation program. I, I come from Singapore and I um, got a diploma in aeronautical engineering before coming to school here and I was looking to further my studies. And Utah State has a really good aviation program where I feel like there was a very good balance of hands-on work and a lot of theory work as well. The teachers are, the teachers, the professors, they are really helpful. They really do care about you and they do take the time to answer any questions or any misunderstandings that you might have regarding the program as well. 
like what Muhammad said, Logan is located in a very beautiful part of Utah. You have hiking and camping and fishing in the summer, and in the winter you have skiing or snowboarding, or you can do many other winter activities. The school itself is a very beautiful place just to walk around campus um, at any time of the year. You start to enjoy your surroundings and your environment as well. It's a great place to meet friends. It's a great place to um, enjoy the time that you have up here. One thing I want to add that the school I always have something in every weekend. We have almost every weekend we have an event. Like we we have a lot of international parties, uh, activities, we have um, like activities that's done by fraternities. Or, uh, we always have something going on every weekend. So, uh, I mean, I have had the chance to go to four different schools in the United States before. And Utah State is my fifth school. And to be honest, this school is you never get bored. I mean, even if you have a, a free time, there's always something to do. There is something going on in campus, either a basketball game, a football game, a dance party, sometimes like um, Chinese New Year, um, the African banquet, international banquet, step dances, fraternity dances. Uh, we always have something going on in campus. So Utah State is You'll never get bored here. It's it's one of the best schools I've, I've been into. I, I love it because I'm a person, I get bored really fast. I mean, but here, I almost never get bored because I'm always busy. There's always something to do. On the other hand as well, you know, like what Muhammad said, we are, there's so many things going on, but for the parents or for some of the students who are listening, this is a very safe campus as well. There is always a campus police if you need um, to be escorted back to your to where you stay, or if you ever do need a problem, there's always the resources here for you to seek help, and they are very friendly. You do not need to feel afraid when approaching um, any of the staff or any of the campus police for help. They will be more than happy to help you as well. Um, well, to conclude our video call, um, I would really encourage you guys to, myself, uh, Bryden and Muhammad, we really encourage you to apply for the scholarship. Uh, Utah State University really has a very diverse campus. Um, we as international students, we really feel like part, uh, part of the university. We, you know, you can always meet international students in most activities. And we encourage you to stay in the chat find out more about our ambassador scholarship program and uh, ask any more questions that you have. Do you guys have anything to add? So just very quickly, you want to go through the application process of giving you the scholarship one more last time before signing up as well. So part of the ambassador scholarship program, something that we like to do, we have classified into a few sections on leadership, recruitment, service, and sharing your experience as an Aggie. Um, we have many opportunities for you to take up leadership positions um, within the ambassadors and in the school. Part of the ambassador program is you encourage students to um, take the lead in a lot of in organizing a lot of activities. We also focus a lot on recruitment when we go to high schools, where we go share with high school students or students of other colleges or international students like like yourselves of why we love this school and why we feel that this school would be a perfect opportunity for them to further their education as well. We also have many chances to do service um, within the community and within the school. Um, in the ambassador program we try to do at least one service project every semester and of course you know we want you to have a good experience here and to share that experience of being an ID, of being a student of Utah State University with everyone that you that you meet with, um, no matter where you are. Um, what do you need to apply for the scholarship? 
um, you have to have complete completed the application packet. So first, you need complete application form. Second, you have to write a statement on why you want to be a Utah State ambassador. It has to be 250 words or less. Uh, third, you have to complete the, uh, your resume on uh, your leadership, recruitment, and service experiences. Fourth, um, any graphical illustrations, including pictures, diagrams, sketches, and basically anything that can convey your accomplishments and, uh, and who you are. And lastly, you need two sealed letters of recommendation um, that have to be attached to your portfolio. The letter of recommendation form is included in the application packet. You want to talk about due dates? Yeah, so the due date for the ambassador scholarship application is the 2nd of February for every year. So the due date for this year is February 2nd, 2015. Next. So some of the frequent asked, uh, frequently asked questions are, can I email the application? No, a physical copy of your application packet must be mailed to the admissions office. How much does the application cost? Uh, the application doesn't cost anything, so you don't need to pay. How much money does the scholarship Award. The best scholarship is um, two thousand dollars USD per semester. So you get two thousand dollars in the fall, and then the next semester in the spring you get another two thousand dollars. Do I need to be enrolled at Utah State University to get the scholarship? Yes, uh, absolutely. Also, a student that would be taking at least twelve credits. Uh, to be considered as a full-time student each semester and has to maintain a GPA of 3.0 or higher. So how long does the scholarship last? The student could keep the scholarship for four years as long as, as he here. Uh, that, that's only for four years. Um, as long as you keep your, your GPA up, 3.0 and you keep taking 3. Point, uh, you keep taking 12 credit hours every semester you should be good to keep it and, and you're in a good standing for sure you should be able to keep it for four years can I reapply for it yes you can yes you can the scholarship is renewed but you don't have to go through the whole application process again once you're awarded the ambassador scholarship, it's renewed on a, on a yearly basis and you don't have to fill out the same form again. Once again, if you would like to apply, the link is on our chat page and you, know, you are more than welcome to come up and um, take a look at the application, see what the process is like. And we will be chatting with you for the next hour to answer any questions that you might have regarding the Ambassador Scholarship or the programs in Utah State University. Uh, thank you. Thank it you was so a great much. experience. Bye.